what is your risk tolerance? How much risk are you willing to take when you invest? Different people have different risk appetite. What's a risk appetite? Let's say you took out $5,000 from the bank, put it in your wallet, go for a meal, and left your wallet behind. You lost it. How would you feel? Hey everyone, welcome to the 3 Minutes video series where we answer frequently asked questions about the stock market. And in this video, I am going to answer a question from 11co. All right, so 11co asks, what do I need to do or what do I need to consider before investing in stock market? All right, so now we are assuming that the context of this question is about someone who wanted to get started in stock market investing. You know about the benefit and advantages of stock market but you wanted to make sure that you are ready for it. So I'll explain this in a form of a checklist. It's a pretty long list to remember. So if you want this checklist in a digital copy so that you don't have to write it down, just type in a comment below and we'll follow up with you and send it to you. All right, so um, bear in mind, this list is not 100% comprehensive. There may be other things to be considered based on your specific situation, but I believe this will cover 80% of it, All right? So, Let's start with number one, which is financial plan. So first thing you need to do is to have a financial plan. What I mean here is that it's more than just a piece of paper or a bunch of numbers in spreadsheet, all right? So having a financial plan means that you have done whatever uh, within your means to set aside an emergency fund, which is a portion of money that you can use immediately if something unexpected happens to you or your family. So if you're just starting out in stock market investing or any form of investing, you have to be in it for the long run, which means you must not expect that you can make money out of it immediately. And you can potentially be at a loss if the market is not favorable when you need money to spend. And that's why we tell our students that you need to give yourself at least two to three years of practice and learning before you can expect consistent return from the market. That other thing that you want to include in your financial plan is a financial protection, which is normally in a form of insurance that can provide you a larger sum of money if something bad happens. Also, make sure that you don't have any high interest debt. Like if you owe your credit card a lot of money, you'd be wise to pay it off first. The one principle of sound financial management is this, only invest with the money you can afford to lose. So if you abide by this principle, you will only use the money that you have left after taking care of your emergency fund and your financial protection. And how do you do this? You can find a certified financial planner or get a good resource online. Now, one good example for Malaysians are the Ring It Plus uh, website, which is our good partner. The second thing on the checklist is about understanding yourself. Now, there's a few things that you need to understand about yourself, and some of it are also related to your financial plan. For example, what is your risk tolerance? How much risk are you willing to take when you invest? Different people have different risk appetite. Now, what's a risk appetite? Let's say you took out $5,000 from the bank, put it in your wallet, go for a meal, and left your wallet behind. You lost it. How would you feel? Some people will be okay with it. Some people may have anxiety attack and cannot sleep that night, right? So what is your tolerance level? Is it, it's an important consideration because ultimately you want to invest with peace in your mind and your heart. If you don't invest with peace of mind, you will tend to make mistakes and at the end of it, grieving over your mistakes and losing confidence on yourself. So choose your investment strategy according to your risk tolerance so that you can sleep soundly at night. Even in the stock market, there are different strategies with different risk level that you can apply. The other thing that about yourself that you need to determine is what are your financial goals, depending on what stages of your life you're in and what are your expectations of living standard for yourself and your family. This is an important exercise that you need to do to ensure that you are investing or trading in the stock market with the right expectations. And then you will need to take into account how much time you're willing to spend. Now, let's say, for example, if you're willing to spend one hour a day in trading, you could learn how to do swing trading or trend trading, for example. Uh, swing trading and trend trading are short-term trading strategies that can potentially help you to generate more than 20% return a year or even more if you can do it well. Now, the third thing to consider is education, right? Make sure you educate yourself before you put money into any investment. If anyone tell you that you can make a lot of money right after watching a couple of videos on YouTube, that is like telling you that you can learn swimming just by watching YouTube video. Mm. It doesn't work that way. Uh, however, the learning process can be accelerated if you have the right guidance. If you have someone to show you the essential things that you need to know before you get started and take your first step safely. What are the examples of essential things that you need to know? For starters, you need to know about the different instruments available to you like exchange traded funds or stocks. They are different. There are advantages and disadvantages for you to consider. 
Secondly, there are different types of strategies that you can apply from long-term investing strategies like value investing, growth investing to short-term trading strategies like swing and trend trading. Third, how to manage your risk. All businesses have a risk management strategy and you have to look at investing as a business as well and know how to manage risk when things are not going your way. Number four, the market to focus on. Aside from your home country, you have the opportunity now to invest globally in US stock market, in UK stock market, in Hong Kong market, and so on. We in Beyond Insights focus on the US stock market and you can follow the link in the description below to find out what's our reasoning. Number five, you can adopt a proven process. For example, we have the STPM framework that guides us on how to select the stock to invest, how to determine the best time to buy and sell, how to protect our trades, and how to multiply the returns. The purpose of any process is to produce consistent results. And that's what you want, isn't it? A consistent result instead of depending on random luck. And the final category of things that you need to consider is about the broker. Now to invest in the stock market directly yourself, you will have to go through a broker. A broker is a company that facilitates the transaction, uh, just like how Lazada and Shopee facilitate the buying and selling of merchandise in the marketplace. So when you are investing and trading in the stock market, you will always have your money in custody with the broker. Therefore, it is important that you use a reputable broker with good financial management practices and security management practices, right? Now, you need to make sure that the country where your broker is registered has a good regulation and governance to ensure the security of investors' funds. You also need to consider the commission charged by the brokers because it can make a lot of difference if you are actively trading. We'll provide a reference in the description below, a website that you can use to compare international brokers using a set of criteria. So there you have it, a checklist of four categories, financial plan, understanding yourself, education, and also choice of broker. Hope that answer your questions one one. So thank you all for watching and please post your questions about stock market in the comment below and we will pick the most popular ones for the next video. See you in the next one.